Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is May the 17th, 2023. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Fairy Mastermind, and this is the extended art version of this card from March the Machine. This card is down 8.71% from $12.29 to $11.22 for its market price, and its average price is $12.29. Next loser here is Urabrask, another March the Machine card down 14.64% from $14.75 to $12.59 for its market price, and its average price is $15.59. Frasca Betrayer Sting from Phyrexia All Will Be One, this card is down 16.52% from $9.26 to $7.73 for its market price, and its average price is $9.66. We've got a Universe is Beyond Warhammer 40k card here. Celestine, the Living Saint. This card is down 16.56% from $8.03 to $6.70 for its market price, and its average price is $8.48. Our final loser on our list today is a Secret Layer Series card, Sarah the Benevolent. This card is down 19.85% from $15.44 to $4.36 for its market price, and its average price is $8.00. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Liliana Dreadhorde General from War of the Spark. This card is at 5.14% from $21.97 to $23.10 for its market price, and its average price is $23.59. The pre-release version of this card is currently sitting at $35.36 for its market price, and its average price is $40. And the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $20.86 for its market price, and its average price is $22.02. .02. And the stained glass version of this card from the Secret Layer series is sitting at $22 for its market price, and its average price is $24.20. And the Japanese alternate art version of this card using different artwork is currently sitting at $96 for its market price. The next winner here is a March the Machine Aftermath card. It's Karn Legacy Reforged, and this is the retro frame version of this card at 5.65% from $28.65 to $30.27 for its market price, and its average price is $30.08. The regular copy of this card from the same set is currently sitting at $11.75 for its market price, and its average price is $14. And the foil etch version of this card is currently sitting at $19.00 and 16 cents for its average price, and the extended art version of this card from the Collector Boosters is currently sitting at $17.36 for its market price, and its average price is $17.47. The next winner on our list today is a March of the Machine Multiverse Legends card. It's Elish Norn Grand Cenobite. This card is up 8.82% from $14.62 to $15.91 for its market price, and its average price is $16.23. The Mystery Booster version of the card is sitting at $19.43 for its market price, and its average price is $21.04. And the Iconic Masters reprint is sitting at $39.54 for its market price, and its average price is $32.39. And the Modern Masters 2015 version of the card is sitting at $38.38 for its market price, and its average price is $35.98. And the Judge promo version of the card is sitting at $130.50 for its market price, and its average price is $139.77. And the Secret Layer series copy with Phyrexian text is currently sitting at $31.36 for its market price, and its average price is $32.80. And the original copy from New Phyrexia is sitting at $39.86 for its market price, and its average price is $34.89. 
Next up here is All Will Be One from Phyrexia All Will Be One. This card is up 8.95% from $11.29 to $12.30 for its market price, and its average price is $11.79. The pre-release version of this card is currently sitting at $13.81 for its average price, and the promo pack version is sitting at $9.24 for its market price, and its average price is $10.99. The oil slicked raised foil from the complete bundle is sitting at $25.34 for its market price, and its average price is $26.99. And this card is seeing some standard play right now in Gruel Adventures decks, as well as Commander decks like Chalet and Halar, and also Omnath Locus of All, both from March of the Machine. Next up here is Shieldred the Whispering One, and this is the March of the Machine Multiverse Legends version of the card at 15.08% from $7.16 to $8.24 for its market price, and its average price is $7.73. The original copy from New Phyrexia is sitting at $16.72 for its market price, and its average price is $16. And the Iconic Masters reprint is sitting at $14.96 for its market price, and its average price is $13.19. The Jumpstart reprint is sitting at $11.58 for its market price, and its average price is $11.91. And the Secret Layer series copy with the Phyrexian text is sitting at $11.77 for its market price, and its average price is $13.12. And the version on the list is sitting at $12.77 for its market price, and its average price is $12.86. Next up here is Itali, Primal Conqueror from March the Machine. This card is up 27.46% from $5.68 to $7.24 for its market price, and its average price is $6.89. The pre-release version of the card is sitting at $15.90 for its average price, and the showcase copy is sitting at $4.26 for its market price, and its average price is $5. And this card is seeing some standard play right now, Rakdos Midrange decks as well as Naya Ramp and even Grixis Midrange. However, it's also seeing some commander plays like Commander itself and in other decks like Shasas, Sun's Avatar. Next up here is Nissa Resurgent Animus from March of the Machine, The Aftermath, up 49.18% from $17.59 to $26.24 for its market price, and its average price is $40. And the foil edge version of the card is sitting at $49.98 for its average price. The extended art version from the Collector Boosters is sitting at $28 for its market price, and its average price is $45. And the retro frame version of the card is sitting at $34.88 for its market price, and its average price is $40. And this card is seeing a ton of commander play, but it's also seeing some modern play in 4-color Omnath decks, as well as Amulet Combo. Our final winner on our list today is a March the Machine card, Rona, Herald of Invasion, a 58.03% from $1.93 to $3.05 for its market price, and its average price is $3.00. And the pre-release version of this card is currently sitting at $6.75 for its average price, and the showcase version is sitting at $1.24 for its market price, and its average price is $1.50. And this card is seeing a lot of standard play right now in Esper mid-range decks as well as Esper Legends, and even Pioneer decks like Jeskai Ascendancy, and also Commander decks as a commander itself, and in other decks like Jota the Unifier. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Galax Guided by Fate, and this is the Showcase Foil from March of the Machine Aftermath, up 10.68% from $9.55 to $10.57 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.67. Next up here is Tyvar the Bellicose, and this is the showcase version of the card from March of the Machine Aftermath, up 11.22% from $11.76 to $13.08 for its foil market price, and its average price is $15.34. Next up here is Mask of Grizzlebrand from Inishrod Double Feature, and this foil is up 14.44% from $12.19 to $13.95 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.41. Nissa Resurgent Animus, and this is the extended art version of this card from March the Machine Aftermath up 14.53% from $29.60 to $33.90 for its foil market price, and its average price is $74.99. Next foil here is Basilisk Collar from Worldwake. This foil is up 14.56% from $18.95 to $21.71 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.85. 
Words of win from Onslaught. This old frame foils at 14.61% from $41 to $46.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $44.70. Plow Under from 8th edition, this foil is up 17.92% from $16.24 to $19.15 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13.99. Light From Within from Eventide, this foil is up 22.26% from $5.21 to $6.37 for its foil market price, and its average price is $11.96. Sigarda, Font of Blessings, and this is the showcase foil from March of the Machine Aftermath, up 22.96% from $6.14 to $7.55 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.99. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, all likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards were you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.